Today, I want to show you the setup wizard that's built into every Import A series device server. Uh, we designed this wizard to simplify the installation for the most common field applications. So, we're working with the basic one port model. Uh, that's this uh, model, the Nport 5110A. Uh, it has one RS232 serial port. So, let's say we open the box and we're ready to deploy it in the field. Uh, before we begin the configuration, the first thing you're going to need to do is take a note of the default IP address. We've printed it there on the back for your reference. It's 192.168.127.254. Also, make sure you have a laptop that's set up to be on the same subnet as this IP address. So once you have that, you've got the note of the IP address, you've got the laptop that's set up, then we can go ahead and enter the setup wizard, powering on the import connecting it by Ethernet to my laptop. And I'm opening up a standard web browser, which is how you're going to access the setup wizard. Now, the setup wizard is built into the web console, so to enter the web console, you just use the IP address as your URL in your web browser. So it's going to open up your web console right here. And this big button right here with the wand that's how you're going to enter the setup wizard. So click there. Now, for most of our import field applications, there's really only three major settings that you need to configure. The first one is IP address, and that's right there on the first page of the wizard. In this case, I'm going to stick with a static IP address. I'll set it to dot .100. Now the second setting that you're probably going to need to set is the operation mode of your import. Uh, I'm going to stick with Realcom mode. That's the mode you're going to use if you plan to communicate with your device uh, using a PC. And the last thing you're probably going to set for your application is a serial communication settings. In this case, uh, I don't want to change any of these settings. So I can go ahead and click Next. And so that's it. Basically your setup's done. All I have to do is uh, take a look at the summary of your settings and click Save Restart. When I click that, my import will reboot with the new settings. Um, in this case, all I really did was change the IP address. So if you wanted to confirm this, you could enter the web console again by entering the import's IP address in the browser. It changed, so it's now 127.100, and you can go in there and set it up again. And that's it. That's the setup wizard. It's built into every Mport A series device server. Uh, we hope it makes your life a lot easier uh, and streamlines the time it takes to configure these and get these out in the field. If you have any questions on how to deploy the Mport for your specific application, feel free to give us a call, contact us, send us a message. Thanks for watching.